So I've noticed a number of students have had trouble centering views within the drawing area. So I just wanted to put together this short video just to show you just how to go about doing that. So here is a completed example of a B-sized drawing with an object drawn and then centered inside of it. So I'm going to walk you through this process. So the first thing is to go through and dimension the different areas or at least measure them. And so we want to work with our drawing area. So if we take a look at just what the drawing area is, that's going to be from this upper corner and it's going to come down and it's going to be straight across from our title block information. So on this particular drawing, this area right here is our drawing area. And so that's the area that we have to center inside of. So it's 31 by 19 in this example. And then we measure each of our views. And so we're worried about the overall length of our front view. So from the furthest drawn object on the right to the furthest drawn object on the left of our front view. So in this case, that's eight inches. And that matches our top view. So we're gonna use eight inches for this. And then the same thing for our right side view. We're gonna go from our furthest drawn object on the right to the furthest drawn object on the left, which here's four inches. And then we do the same thing going the other way on our front view and our top view. So on our front view, we go from our furthest drawn object, which would be the bottom of the center line, to the top most part of our front view. So that's three and a half. And then do the same thing here on our top view, and that comes out to be four. Now what we do with that information is we just have to do a little bit of math. So first of all, we're going to figure out our spaces between here. So the space to the left, the space in the middle, and then the space on the right. So to do that, we take 31 minus 8 minus 4, and we come up with 19. We then take that 19 divided by the number of spaces that we have to split that up between and since we have a space on the right a space in the middle and a space on the left we're going to divide that by three and we get six and one third inches should be the spacing from left to middle to right we do the same thing going the other way and here we've got 19 inches to work with we used up four inches on our top view three and a half on our bottom on our uh, front view so we end up with 11 and a half inches and again on this particular drawing we have three spaces one on the top we have one in the middle and one on the bottom so our spacing going this way is going to be three and five sixteenths inches so once you've determined those numbers then this is how I would go about using uh, AutoCAD and utilizing object snaps to get those views to go where they need to go so first thing is start your move command and I would move all of my views out of my drawing area and then just place my front view. So use your move command to move your front view to a location that matches up with what you're trying to center it inside of. So right at that point was the extents of my drawing area. And now rerun that move command by starting the move command then typing P for previous. Hit enter to say you're done selecting objects and then move it to the right, in this case, six and one third inches. So just type in six hyphen one slash three, hit enter, and then rerun your move command again and move that view up three and five six inches this time. That's three and five six. All right, now you've got your front view exactly where it needs to be. Now you can move your top view. So just select all that top view. And again, we're going to line up our features. So that part of my top view lines up with this part of my front view. And now just use that move and previous command again. And this time, all I need to do is move my top view up three and five, six inches. So do that and now those two views are placed now I just need to move my right view where it should go so again just line up those features on the right 
and then all I have to do is set my spacing between my views which in this case is six and one third inches and then I end up with a drawing with all three of my views centered and I can measure each one of these spaces my left my middle and my right and those should all be equal and then as well as my bottom my middle and my top should all be equal so there's a quick way to go about how to center a drawing.